hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter, and today we're going to be making stickers. Um, before we get started, though, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I would appreciate all the help that I can get. Okay, so I use Canva all the time, so I want to show you how um, how easy it can be, and then um, and just show you, you know, Canva has so many different designers working for them. So I feel like whenever I search for a theme, there's so much to choose from that. Um, you know, I'll find something that's maybe 75% done and then I just need to make some quick edits. So I'm going to search for Christmas stickers and let's see what we get. Because I want to make Christmas stickers for my daughter, um, labels to put on whatever gift that we end up giving, you know, to her classmates. And um, yeah, so look at all the different ones. And then I'm just going to quickly add, you know, love Charlotte and I can either... If I want to keep it like a rectangular or a square shape, then I will just print it straight from Canva onto my sticker paper. If it's going to be something that I want the Cricut to cut, then I will, you know, then um, download and upload into Design Space. So I'm going to show you both, okay? Um, so let's look at... Let's just say we want to do this one, okay? It's super simple. It's just Santa and the and his beard um, and the belt buckle. And let's put in a tax and put um, no, love, Merry Christmas, love, Charlotte. Okay, so we can make the text smaller. somewhere in there you could even like let's say we liked that so these are samples of the way the text will come out and if you see something that you like there we can drop it in here you just double click it and you know you could do something like this um we'll make it smaller I don't know what I just did. Okay, there we go. Um, let's make this. And I think we can change the color. I don't know if we wanted to do something. I don't know what it would look like. Oh, in green, Merry Christmas. And I'll put it down here. If I see a font that I like, I mean, you could, it, it, it's so made for you to just take it and start editing. So that's what I love about Canva is, you know, a lot of times we spend so much time reinventing the wheel, right? And so here it's like, if I have most of it done, I'm just going to go in and edit. Um, okay. Um, And maybe I'll do it in white. And I'm just going to show you elements um, that we can add. There's just so much, right? I mean, look at how cute all these things are. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to add, well, I guess I could add that. Uh, let's see. What do I want to add? There's so many cute little things. We can add little. Oh, why isn't it going? There we go. You know, you can move it off a little bit. You can easily add. I know, now I'm making it crazy looking, but you can see like all the different things you can do. It's so pretty. <laughs> I know now now I'm changing everything in fact here we could start out with Santa get rid of that um, make this into hanging ornaments um, 
remove the bell. I mean, it's so easy and quick to do things. Change this to a different font. You know, if we wanted to keep that, I don't like the way that looks though, but let's just say we did something like this. Um, I don't know, what else can we add? We can add little um, Christmas presents. Add it to the bottom. Move these snowflakes. Let's size that appropriately. There, we have all these gifts at the bottom. Um, okay. Let's say that if you like the square look, right? What I would do is I would go and resize to an 11 by eight and a half inch because that's the paper that I use. Okay, so now that is, I'm gonna grab all of this and I am going to group it together because I'm gonna make it small. Because if I'm gonna do this on my, um, if I'm just gonna print it and then cut little squares, then I've sized this to be three and a half inches, almost three by three. So let's say I wanna do this, okay? So now I'm gonna grab, oh, is it letting me grab the whole thing? So if I'm not gonna send it to the Cricut to cut, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna fill this up. And print it out. I'm gonna resize this a little bit smaller so I can get it all on there. And I could probably get another row here. Perfect. Let's see how big this is two inches, not bad. So a two inch sticker. Oh, I've got, what is this, 16 of them? Okay. Now let's say that we wanted this, but we want to take it into design space, okay? So what you would do is I would go to share and download, and I want a PNG, I'm going to download it. Then once it downloads, I'm going to go into Cricut design space, and I'm going to go to upload and upload image, browse, and go to downloads. And here's my sticker. I'm gonna go to complex, continue. I want the whole sticker, so I'm just going to click on here. I can do that and upload. So now that I have it in here, it's now a, well, I'm gonna resize it. Well, let's lock it so that the image doesn't get warped. And I'm gonna make this into, I don't know, a 2.2 inch sticker, okay? So if I want it to be a square or if I want it to be a circle, if I want it to be a circle, let's do it two ways. Um, grab a circle. Okay, hold on, let me duplicate this. Okay, so if we wanna cut a square one, we'll leave it there. We want a circle one. Let's do that. Grab these two items and slice. So now I have a circle sticker, right? And then let's go to make it. So I can make, I don't know, four of these. Okay, this looks pretty good, right? So I've got three, six, nine, 12 stickers per sheet, and the Cricut's gonna cut this out perfectly, right? What I wanna do is I wanna go to continue, send to printer. When I send it to the printer, this is what you need to do. You need to um, pick the printer. So I'm gonna pick this one, for instance. Um, add bleed, yes. Use system dialog, click yes. So when you click on print, it will now open up here 
and so that I can go to my preferences and change everything to make it print the best print possible. So my media type is going to be glossy paper and it's fine, I'm gonna single feed it. Um, I want my print quality to be, okay, fine. Let's see, okay. I just wanna make sure that anywhere that I have an option to make it better, I'm going to make it better. So it looks like this is, oh, let's go to advanced. Um, other print options, I think I'm good there. Okay, so we changed it to glossy paper, it was fine, um, and then you click OK and it will print. I actually am not ready to print this, but that is how you would do it. Now, let's talk about the paper. So I'm gonna go over and show you the paper that I like to use. It's Neato Labels. Check out my feed. The, the stickers look like, and let me see if I have a sticker here. I usually do. The stickers look like I went and bought them from Target or something. This is one that I printed out. Look at this. It's the Savannah Bananas, right? I mean, look at that sticker. It looks legit. Like it looks like I paid $5 for this um, when I just printed it myself. So make sure you use this code. If you want to just use the 25% off one, I do have my own code. It's FANS25, F-A-N-S-25. Um, but I will share the link in the description. And, uh, you know, of course, I appreciate all the support that I get when you guys use my links as well. So, um, but this is absolutely my favorite um, sticker paper. I have used them exclusively. And, um, you know, it's part of like, once I find my brand and the, and the, quality is amazing like i am done <laughs> i'm so done they're one of our sponsors for our craft workshop as well um for this one and the first one i mean i'm just i, I love their paper so anyway um i hope this helps i hope this makes it a lot easier for you go, to go into canva canva is a great great site to use i use it for um, my stories reels Anytime that I need something to look really nice, that's where I go because most of it's already done, kind of like what you saw where I just, you know, edit a little bit and then get exactly what I want. Um, all right, then I will see you guys next time. Comments, questions, please post them below. And then of course, any suggestions. All right, see you guys.